Hello. Okay, let's do another newbie video. Okay. So this is for brand new teachers or people getting ready to start, people who are in their interview. It's if you're new and you want to understand more about how bookings work. Okay, as my hair like floofs again. My hair yesterday was terrible and today is not much better. Ignore that. Okay, so <laughs> my cat. Palfish has some fast onboarding and... Once you're onboarded, you can be booked right away for official kids course. Free talk may or may not take some time. It depends on your ability to market yourself. My cat has discovered a badminton um, shuttlecock and has, just, has decided it's its new toy. So that's kind of amusing me at the minute. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, if you open your schedule for the interview, as soon as you pass the interview, your schedule will be open for anyone to book. Now, you can avoid that by going into schedule and manipulating whatever you need to do, okay? If it is green, it can be booked. If it is white, it is not open and cannot be booked unless you accept a pop-up. The blue icon that you may see on some slots means official kids course only. This includes trials. If it has nothing on it, then it is for free talk and official course. And again, official course includes trials. Some teachers like to log into the kids app, and, or not the kids app, the student app, and check their, tri their schedule. If you are logged into the student app and your schedule is set to official kids course only, you will not see the open slots on your schedule. It just is not visible. It's not visible to the free talk students. And if you are on the kids cap app, you won't be able to see it because you need to be a buyer on the kids app to see it. Okay? So you have a couple of options here, and I'll be doing a new tutorial on this, but a big thing is the garbage can at the top. And that can close any of your unbooked slots instantly for the day. The other thing is when you are checking your schedule, make sure you check every single day, and make sure you show all time slots, just to make sure some of the kind of more off hour times, the non-peaks, the overnight Beijing time, are also not getting are not opened if you didn't accidentally open them. It's best to just check those just in case. You can always remove it by show default time slots. Okay? You can also check your log. You can see who booked what, who opened what, when you closed things, etc. Okay? Now, uh, if you are booked for free talk right away, and free talk can book with as little as three hours notice. I'm positive that is three hours because my one regular free talk student sometimes forgets to book, and they always book for 2 p.m., and they'll log in at noon and say, how come your schedule's not open? I can't book. You're within three hours, honey. If they go at three hours, just a few seconds more than three hours, they can book, and they're like, oh, okay. So we always have fun with that one. This has happened many times with them. If you are scheduled for a free talk, you will want to hit this green start tutoring button. Okay? And that will put you online. This is the only way the student can call you. Okay? You need to have this button on to receive a call. Now, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. Oh, I am connected to Wi-Fi. Okay? Okay? So turn on this button to be able to take calls. If you are a free talk teacher applying to Palfish, you only need to complete your profile. Okay, I'm not going to show that because my phone number and everything's there. But in the Me tab at the bottom, the bottom right, it's not very visible reflections. I'll do a, a screenshot tutorial on this, which will be better viewable. And then your profile is the same line as your picture right here. Okay, I'm trying to get it in view, but it's just not working. The glare is just not friendly. There it is. So you would click profile right here and go in and just complete your entire profile. Okay, you would just complete that profile. For official kids course, you will have where I have my training button, you will have something called application. And where I have my blue banner, you will have an orange banner. You can click either of those, but remember, to apply for the official kids course, you must be a native English speaker from the US, the UK, Ireland, Australia, Canada, or New Zealand. Okay? What some people in the EFL community refer to as the big six. Now, 
scheduling with the official kids course. Some teachers seem to miss this in the handbook. So I'm going to go over it real quick with the handbook. Appointment rules. The first one states that they need to book 24 hours in advance. This is for official kids course students only. These are students who have already bought a package and are taking official lessons and have so many lessons to do. They need to give you 24 hours or more notice. If it's less than 24 hours, they can send you a personal lesson request through a head teacher. Okay? Now, the important one is number three. Trials can be assigned by the sales team within by Palfish staff with, with two hours notice, okay? So two hours before your open slot or more. They cannot be assigned within two hours, okay? If it is two hours to a slot, it can be booked. And this means that if you have done your quiz, not your application, the, the demo doesn't matter because that gets processed and you still have to do the quiz. But once you complete that quiz, you can be processed. And once you're processed, you can be booked. So if you have finished your quiz and you're waiting for processing and you're getting ready to go to bed, hop into that schedule tab and check what classes you have open for the next morning. So for me, it would be checking Tuesday. And if you do not want to wake up, my earliest open slot is 8 a.m. So I need to set an alarm to be up and be ready for class by 8 a.m. Even if it wasn't booked, if I was leaving it open. Mine is booked. If you are a new teacher, you're going to be blasted with trials. And they can be booked with as little as two hours notice. Okay? So you need to be awake and ready at your earliest open slot. If you are doing the quiz and you are getting ready for bed, and you don't know if you'll get classes in the morning, close your unbooked slots. Close them before you go to bed. Or set an alarm and wake up to check. If you miss classes, you will be penalized. You get a penalty for missing classes. And it's in the handbook. It's in the um, thing when you're signing up. If you read all the details in the application and everything, it's all there, but it always gets missed. A lot of people miss this. So if you are signing up for Palfish, the official kids course, you can be booked within two hours. Free talk, you can be booked within three hours. For free talk, make sure you turn on the start tutoring button five minutes before the class appointed time. You have to leave it on for a full 10 minutes. So if the appointed time was nine o'clock, then you are going to leave it on from 8.55 until 9.05. If the student does not call you by 9.05, you will get a compensation. It's not much, though. It's 10, 10 RMB. And then if you, if the student calls and hangs up, you will not receive any money, but you will also not be fined. If you do not turn on your Start Tutoring button, you will be fined for missing the class. So make sure that is on. The official kids course, remember, as soon as you're processed through the quiz, you can be booked. You can be booked with as little as two hours notice. So if you are going to bed, check your schedule, either set an alarm to wake up before your earliest open slot the next day, or close your schedule so you can't be booked overnight. One or the other, pick one but try not to miss classes because that's very important. The trials are assigned to you really full blast right in the beginning. Trials are priority given to new teachers to help you build your schedule. So the best thing you can do is do your interview and time it so that you're doing your quiz just before you're ready to really go, okay? Don't be like, oh, I do my quiz today and I don't want to start until Monday because that's actually going to impact the fact that you're not going to get as many trials right off the bat like you want. So if you know you're not going to be able to start until Monday, do your interview on the Friday and wait till Monday to do your quiz or do your interview on Thursday and then do your quiz on Friday night Beijing time because you won't be processed that late. You'll be processed on Monday morning, okay? 
Um, if you know you want to start on a Thursday, do your quiz on a Tuesday so you get processed by Wednesday or do your, t your interview on Monday or Tuesday and do your quiz by Wednesday morning Beijing time at the latest Wednesday morning Beijing time. That would mean Tuesday night for you. This way you'll be ready to go by Thursday. Okay, so you can time it. You can time your start time, but make sure you time your interview because once your interview is complete, you only have two days to do the quiz. Okay, so I hope this helps new teachers understanding how you can be booked right away and helping you to avoid missing classes. Okay, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.